When you hear the name Gary Roberts, you think of the famous power forward from the Toronto Maple Leafs and the Calgary Flames. But what you may not know is Roberts has another reputation around the hockey community as the fitness and lifestyle training guru. He has trained some of the famous NHLers Steven Stamkos and Nazem Kadri. However, after he retired in 2009, he set his goals on the development side of the sport, training some of the young guns. Welcome back to Rob's Sports. We're now joined on the phone by Ben Grant, the offensive coordinator of the Lorne Park Spartans, who actually went on to win the championship in one of the offsables, Kelsey, and a fantastic score of 32 to 1. So thank you very much, Ben, for being on the show today. The Brampton Beasts are not only growing their best Lanny McDonald or Wendell Clark mustache, they're going one step further. In collaboration with iconic House of Barbers, they'll be accepting donations throughout the entire month of November on their team page. Uh, Peel students had a lot to cheer for as the Harlem Globetrotters came to town to take on the Peel District School Board staff in a friendly basketball game with one common goal, to end bullying. I was at the Powerade Center for this special event in part with the Anti-Bullying Awareness Week. Here's more. And the St. Paul Wolverines faced off against the Port Credit Warriors for the first time this season. The Wolverines sit atop the Senior Boys Tier 2 Southeast Division with a 3-2 and two record. However, this was the Warriors' first game of the season, and they were looking to make a statement to the rest of their division. So, as of now, we're going to jump over to flag football, where the Iona Dolphins were looking to keep their undefeated season alive and stay atop the South Division. But the winless St. Paul Wolverines had a different story. They were looking for a statement win, and we're not going to go down without a fight. John Carella has the story. Welcome to Robs of Sports. I'm Jason Miller. And I'm Michelle Littler. And today we're going to race right into the show. We're going to jump off to some very special guests that we have on today. Two Olympic hurdlers with Mark McCoy and Priscilla Lopes Schlieff. Bullying has long-term consequences. It's estimated that 160,000 students will skip class each day because of some type of bullying. And of those victims, 1 in 10 will actually go as far as to drop out of school because of repeat bullying. So the Peel District School Board, along with the Harlem Globetrotters, are shooting to reduce those numbers and get everybody playing for the same team. Maybe attribute some of those skills from then your other sports, as you mentioned, playing as kids, to then find your passion within track and really excel. It may be the final season game the battalion ever play in the Powerade Center, but the memories over the years will last a lifetime. As well, with North Bay keeping the battalion name, a little piece of Brampton will remain in the OHL. When there's tons of different events going on for the Winter Olympics and tons of Peel athletes that are also going to be participating in the Winter Olympics, specifically Courtney Bouchard and Rick Nash, two hockey players. Wow. If you didn't have more enough of a reason to watch hockey, well, there it is right there. But in our first story, I attended history in the making as the Mississauga Power hosted the first ever professional basketball game in the region. They were also clad in pink, so let's check it out. It was hard not to get a little bit of pink fever. Last year, over 23,000 Canadians were diagnosed with breast cancer. But with overwhelming support like this, we can sprint to the finish line and find a cure. Uh, Cruiser Sports has been grooming physically disabled athletes for years to compete at the next level and on the world stage. From track and field to basketball, they have the opportunity to inspire Peel athletes of all levels to go to the next level. However, one of their biggest sports, sledge hockey, has seen a lot of success. Two players from the club team will represent Canada at the Paralympics in Sochi. Rachel has more. With over 40,000 people participating in this event worldwide, it is gaining some awareness. So they make a push to the 2020 Olympics and have some of Canada's emerging talent represent us on the world stage. You won't find Booby Gibson or Al Pacino here, but this Friday Night Lights is an experience like no other. It boasts some of the best football in the region and an atmosphere that rivals some of the top NCAA schools. So now off to girls basketball. Sorry, I mean girls hockey. Honest mistake. But with such a high scoring game, it was tough to tell the difference. The St. Martin's Mustangs and the St. Joseph Jaguars were shooting it out. Here's more. With already proven success like Tristan Thompson and Andrew Nicholson playing in the NBA, it gives these athletes motivation. And with programs like the Amateur Basketball League, it helps them develop their skills and achieve their dreams on the court while pushing Canada basketball one more step in the right direction. 
it is estimated by 2031, over 7 million Canadians, or one in five, will be diagnosed with some form of arthritis. So it is our turn now to start making steps in the right direction to end the disease and help those living with arthritis live a better quality of life. Over one quarter of fatal accidents on OPP patrol highways are a result of distracted driving. And the majority of that, because of cell phone use. Drivers are 23% more likely to get into an accident while using one of these. And that number is even greater among students and new drivers. The Breaking Bad television series ended earlier this year, but fans got an opportunity to relive their favorite memories from the show by boarding the RV Famous from season one. Fans were able to dress like Walter White in the hazmat suit, get on board the replica RV, and play out their favorite scenes from the show. It didn't take long for Brampton to get behind their team, with fans already wearing the Beast gear. And rightfully so, with the Beast being the first Canadian CHL team, these fans have a lot to live up to, showing the rest of the league how wild the atmosphere is going to be playing north of the border. The English Premier League may be winding down, but the Rops of sports scene is just heating up. Now the St. Marcelina Spirit were taking on the St. Paul Wolverines in what would be a very entertaining output.